What is the most common way to configure static files in debug and production for Django? When developing a Django application in debug mode, I serve static files using the following code. I am using Jinx as a front end to server my static files in production mode using the following Jinx config. Which seems suboptimal because I have to create a M folder in the media directory. I am wondering what everyone else's Django slash Jinx config files look like. Specifically, can you please cut and paste sections of njinx.com and urls.py settings.debug equals equals true. Thanks. Using Django 1.3 Django.contribution.static files will take care of serving everything for you during development. You don't need to do anything particular in the urls.py. I wrote a little guide for myself after the Django 1.3 update that covers the settings to use. Refer to the docs for details, this URL. I use Njinx and Usky for serving Django apps in production, I use Run Server for development. I symlink my slash static and slash media folders, from my Django project, into dot com slash html for Njinx to find. You could also use the collect static command instead of symlinking. If it can't find a static file it falls back to Wusky, which is running the Django app. Instead of Wusky you could use FastCGI, or Proxy underscore Pass, or whatever you want. I prefer Wusky because it has an incredible number of features and great performance. I run Wusky as a daemon with, Wusky Emperor slash SRV slash asterisk forward slash asterisk dot ini. This is a fairly new option, it tells Usky to scan a given path for configuration files. When the Emperor Usky daemon finds a configuration file it launches a new instance of Usky using the configuration found. If you change your configuration the Emperor Usky daemon will notice and restart your app for you. You can also touch the config file to reload like with mod underscore whiskey, and it's really easy to set up new apps once you have everything configured initially. The path conventions I follow are This is my jinx.conf My SKI file, you can also use XML slash YAML slash etc. You should also check out Gunicorn, it has really nice Django integration and good performance. I'm putting this here in case someone wants an example of how to do this for Apache and WS. The question title is worded such that it's not just covering Jinx. Apache WS Daemon. In my deployment, I decided to keep the database connection info out of the settings.py file. Instead I have a path etc. dango which contains the files with the database configuration. This is covered in some detail in an answer to another question. However, as a side effect, I can check for the presence of these files and the project being in a certain path to determine if this is running as a deployment, and in settings.py I define the settings is underscore dev, is underscore beta, and is underscore prod as true or false. Finding the project's directory from settings.py is just
anything that needs a path into the project uses base underscore dir. So in urls.py, I have at the end. I also have another URL in there that I use for UI testing and don't want on beta or production. This covers the development server case. For production, I just have to set the Apache configuration up to serve the static stuff. This is an intranet application with low to medium load, so I don't have a lightweight web server like LightPDD to serve the static stuff, contrary to the Dango Docs recommendation, since I'm using Fedora Core. I add a dango.conf file in etc. httpd conf.d that reads similar to. Ugh, the key here is to put your alias lines before your dash descript alias line. Also make sure that there's no way for the user to download your code. I did that by putting the static stuff in a static directory that is not in my Dango project. That's why base underscore dir gives the directory containing the Dango project directory. You can omit the dustysocket prefix line. I have it because the admin wants the sockets in a non-default location. My ws file is at .ws, i.e. dango.ws in the mercurial repository, and contains something like The nice thing about WS Diamonds is that you just have to touch dango.ws to restart your Dango WS daemon, you don't need to reload or restart the Apache server. This makes the admin happy. Finally, since my VART www Django project is just a mercurial repo, I have the following in. .hghgrc This clears Python bytecode, updates the working copy, fixes up all the perms, and restarts the daemon whenever a developer pushes into deployment, so anyone in the Django project group can push into it and not just the last one who added a file. Needless to say, be careful who you put in the Django project group. ZK set static underscore URL, static underscore root, static files underscore ders, static files underscore finders, and uses dango.contrib.static files and dango.court.context underscore processors.static in his settings. I don't have those since my code dates back to dango 1.1 and don't use static underscore root. Hope this helps.